I want to pray for the, the family of Kathy Nyland, uh, Denise's friend that we've been praying for, uh, passed away. Uh, pray for her family. She's with her husband again, so we rejoice in that. <coughs> um, Karen uh, needs pray, prayer for her health. Um, and then Denise wants to thank everybody for all the prayers answered and wants to thank God for all the prayers answered and the many blessings. And pray for strength for Julia and Josh uh, in their time of need. And uh, <clears throat> we want to pray for Scott Owens as he got news that he has, uh, uh, does have cancer one, one spot and they're going to be working on that and uh, uh, he's going to be going through chemo. So as he starts that, uh, that again, uh, pray for him. Yeah, today. He's been battling this cancer four years and doing pretty well, but now it's back. So everybody pray for him. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you hear that? It's four years he's been battling this, and uh, it's his 58th birthday, so. Yes. Yes. Sure, and I'll announce that. Make sure everybody heard that. <coughs> Perry Amstutz uh, had a stent put in, and uh, he had some blockages, and so he's recovering. We need to pray for Linda Heslip. She's got a terrible sinus infection, and she's been ill for a couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah, we'll pray for Linda as well. Any others? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Leroy Westfall, he's been falling down and he needs help. So, so, so many concerns. And uh, uh, Connie Worley is, is, uh, has been announced, you know, we want to lift her up as well. So. Well, let's join together in prayer. Lord God, we thank you that you are a healing God. We thank you that when we come to you, Lord, it's not just a wish, but Lord, it's a prayer that we can ask that you would touch and heal these that we have uh, brought to you. And Lord, we're bringing them to you now, Lord. We pray for the sick in our midst, Lord. We ask that you would be their comforter, you would be their strength. Lord, we, we just long for your touch. Lord, we do pray for for Scott, Lord, that you would just surround him with a sense of your presence. Lord, fill his heart with hope. And Lord, let that hope be, be found secure in Jesus and Lord, in your, your healing touch. Lord, we ask that you would do uh, exceeding abundantly beyond all that we could ask or even think in his life. And Lord, we pray for Connie that you would, um, you would help her, you would comfort her. Lord, you would be with her even in her pain right, right now. And Lord, give the doctors wisdom to uh, to do what they need to do to get this knee uh, working, Father. We, uh, Lord, we thank you for, for Kevin Kilby. We ask that you would continue to bring healing, uh, Lord, to his, his back. Lord, we pray for Denise's friend's family, Lord. We ask that you would bring, bring strength to them. Uh, Lord, we pray for, for Leroy as well, that you would show yourself faithful in his life. And Lord, for, for so many others that are struggling in one way or another physically, we ask that you would, you would bring your touch. Lord, we ask that during this time of celebrating the season that we would be drawing closer to Jesus, that you would remind us what kind of God you are and that you truly are the King of kings and Lord of lords. And Lord, we join together and pray in your name, our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. <laughs>